it comes to immigration policy in America, there is one persistent myth. If you marry an American citizen, you can stay in the country. But the truth is, marriage does not automatically give an undocumented immigrant legal status. And Americans wrestle with the tough choice when their spouses are facing deportation. Stay in the only place they've known or follow their partners into the unknown. They call themselves the Deportee Wives Club. In part one of our series, our correspondent, Leonie Lacani, talks to a wife and mother who's torn between Wisconsin and West Africa. This is something I've been preparing for the past six to seven months. As the waves slap against the shores of the Gambia in Western Africa, for 32-year-old Katrina Jabi, it's been a long journey to get here. Just watching my girls on the beach. It's beautiful. I would lay in bed and envision this moment on my darkest days. A year ago, her husband was suddenly deported from the United States and Katrina began a quest to reunite her daughters Aisha and Nalia and son Noble with their dad, even if it meant leaving behind her own mother and father back home. Just 24 hours before, she was in Wisconsin saying goodbye to her mother, Judy. So we wanted to come down here and take a walk along the river. I grew up coming here and walking, fishing actually along this river, so. It's one of my mom's fondest memories. We thought we'd come here with the kids one last time before we end up in Africa. Before they leave, Grandma wants to give the children some heartfelt mementos. Can we say goodbye to Grandma? Give her some big hugs. Love you. I feel like this guilt, like all the way around for everybody. I'm just trying to make everybody happy. I feel like. I want the kids to be happy. I want to make sure like, my mom is happy. My husband's happy. Her husband, Buba, was deported to his native country of the Gambia last March. He'd been in the U.S. for more than 20 years. He'd overstayed his original visa, but spent the last decade trying to legalize his status, reporting to immigration officers every year. The next morning, Katrina's dad, Dave, helps her wrap it all up. He and his wife are sad to see her go, but hope Katrina's plight can help to change government policies. Breaking of families, it's wrong. It's just simply wrong. There was discussion of the fact that Buba wasn't a legal citizen in the United States, and we, under, we knew all this, but I just never thought that he would ever get deported because he was going to immigration twice a year, like he was supposed to. He was following his responsibilities. Determined to keep her family together, Katrina sold most of her belongings, including her house, in order to reunite with Buba in the Gambia. The family endures two long flights over a day-long journey to get to their new home. Welcome to the Gambia with a local time here, just approaching 7.20 in the evening. It's been a year since the girls have seen their father, and their little brother has never met his dad. But after months of agonizing waiting, the moment has finally come. Africa has been waiting for you. Hey, <laughs> see daddy now? I've been anticipating this moment for over a year and not only anticipating it, but planning it, planning everything about this and envisioning it. And um, it's just, it's, it's emotional. Um, it's overwhelming. So I'm really excited and happy and I'm glad it's over with. <laughs> Thank you. Been a lot of work. You're brave. Love you. Thank you. My superwoman. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> Our super mom. <laughs> mm. Hey. The next morning is the start of a new life for the family in Gambia. It's Friday, a day of prayer in this Muslim country. This is day one for Katrina and the kids in Gambia, and we're in Senegambia, just outside the capital. And this is a neighborhood that's considered well-to-do, middle-class, but still very different environment from what Katrina and the kids are used to. Hello. Hi, let's go up. Katrina's awake, so are the girls. Hi, people. Do you want to go see the chickens outside? 
Katrina is already getting her house in order. I have to familiarize myself with what we have going on here, but it's just the basics really. I actually shipped um, some cereals and stuff, stuff a while back, so my husband set these up. And um, we actually need to go shopping today. We need to go to the market and find some things for the kids, like milk and more water, and maybe some items to make like a dinner that they're familiar with, like spaghetti or... Um, Maybe we can find some mac and cheese. <laughs> and shopping here couldn't be more different from Wisconsin. Always looking for some smoked fish. Katrina says life here may be simple, but family values are strong, and those are values she wants to instill in her children. But as the day starts to wind down, and despite her excitement, reality is beginning to set in. Just being in the Gambiano with my husband and for him to be with the children, it's a relief. We have a lot to adapt to and I know that this experience isn't going to be the sunshine and beach <laughs> and palm trees, that there's more to it and that we'll have to get used to. But as of today and as of right now, I'm just enjoying every single moment. For matter of fact, in the Gambia, this is Leonie Lacani.